Hello, everyone. This is Latia for you coming today with another scripture from the Lord. We are in Numbers chapter 7, verse 19, Proverbs chapter 3, verse 11, and Acts chapter 2, verse 12. Let's go ahead and pray and we can get started. Dear Lord Jesus, thank you so much for another day. Thank you for all you've done. Thank you for giving us grace. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. All right, you guys, Numbers chapter 7, verse 19, he offered for his offering one silver plate whose weight was 130 shekels, one silver basin of 70 shekels, according to the shekel of the sanctuary, both of them full of fine flour mixed with oil for a grain offering. All right, so this is just one part of one offering on one day of the consecration of the sanctuary. And so um, this um, particular one is from a chief um, and it's uh, e each chief of, of the tribes um, would come in and do an offering on one of the 12 days. And then this was just one section of one day um, of the offerings. And so they were to do a sin offering and then present all these um, items and and do the fine flower, the free will offering and, and do a lot of things as part of giving towards the sanctuary, right? So they had already given the oxen and um, the oxen and the wagons to the um, Levites for their service. And it was just a lot I, the thing that kept coming to my head as I was reading the chapter is this, this was a lot, right? This is a lot. I was in the military and this is a lot, right? This was so much farther beyond that, right? It seemed like it was just a lot and seemed like preparing for war, right? Counting little items and making sure you have each one and they're turned in this position and they are doing this. And, you know, it, it was just a lot of things that needed to be done to present it faultless before the Lord, right? And and it was, yeah, the law. And so um, the second verse that the Lord gave me was Proverbs chapter three, verse 11. My son, do not despise the Lord's discipline or be weary of his reproof. And so God is disciplining us. God is, is, is making us ready for his service, making us ready for life in him. And, you know, we take chastisement um, sometimes in a negative light. Um, but we need to do it in a positive light because we need to realize that we are a child. We are a son, right? We he's he's looking for a son, and a son will take discipline. A son will take reproof and not not take it and garble it up and act as if it did it didn't even occur, right? So if you are a child of the Lord, you will be listening for discipline, um, and you will be listening for the sound of your father's voice. So. That's what we need to do, even with this um, Levitical, um, these standards for the sanctuary, as well as for presenting the offerings and things. Um, there was a lot of things that needed to be done, right? And they had to be done in decency and in order. And, and you know, you played around with this stuff and you get struck down, right? And so um, we have to thank God for the grace that he has given us in Christ Jesus. He has freed us from the law. He has freed us from the the penalty of sin and death, right? Um, when we were, you know, look at Aminadab and Abihu and how they were, um, you know, they, they did something with incense and somehow, you know, they ended up getting caught with um, doing this and they, they died. They were killed with fire, right? And so the discipline of the Lord is, is good for us. It shows that we are sons. It shows that we are a part of the family. It says, my sons do not despise the Lord's discipline or be weary of his reproof. All right. And so the third verse that the Lord gave me was Acts chapter two, verse 12. And all were amazed and perplexed saying to one another, 
what does this mean? And so um, this is actually speaking of um, when the spirit of the Lord came down, right? When the Lord um, allowed his Holy Spirit to come down and rest on the people and they were speaking in tongues, right? And so um, that is such a beautiful thing that God gave us as a part of the package of grace that he gave us. And so where once he was very um, strict and he, he there was no room for error, now we are covered by the blood of Jesus. Jesus has taken all of our error, all of our guilt, all of our sin, and, and he has carried it for us on the cross. And in exchange, we have innocence. So, and I was listening to my pastor when he said, um, you know, uh, when God looks at us, he, he just sees his son. He sees the, the, the beauty of his son instead of seeing all the, the sin that we are in. Amen. And so, um, when they're looking around and say, what did this mean? That they, they want to know what the presence of God is about. And we need to do that too. We need to inquire of the Lord because he has given us such a great grace and we can read through his word and actually appreciate our grace that we're under, right? God is so amazing and he's so good. Um, we need to, to live by his standards and not by our own. Amen. All right, you guys, let's pray. Thank you, Father God, for this word. Thank you for just showing yourself mighty and strong, Lord God, in our lives. Forgive us for all of our sins and help us to walk by faith and not by sight, Lord God. Help us to have relationship and not rules, Lord God. Help us to follow by your Holy Spirit. In Jesus' mighty name we pray, amen. All right, you guys, um, if there's anybody out there who would like to receive Jesus as their Savior and Lord, go ahead and pray this prayer with me. But more than anything, believe it with all your heart as you confess it with your mouth. Dear Lord Jesus, I ask you to come into my heart. I make you my Lord and Savior. Jesus, I believe you died on the cross and I believe you rose again on the third day so that I could be saved. Thank you, Father God, for doing this for me. In Jesus' mighty name, I pray. Amen. All right, you guys, if you have prayed that prayer and you believe that prayer, Holy Spirit is come into you and sealed you until the day of redemption. And no one can break that seal except Christ Jesus when he comes to redeem his church. The Holy Spirit is in you to lead you and guide you into all truth. And he's going to do just that. Amen. One of the things that Christ wanted us to do and not forsake was the fellowshipping of ourselves one to another. Go out, find a church and a church home um, and find other believers to be around so that you can stay sharp in the word of God, as well as go out and tell other people about Christ and what he's done for you in your life. Amen. Also, um, don't forget to go out and um, be baptized in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit in the name of Jesus. All right, you guys, take care and be blessed.